y'all see me last night in the hospital. I'll update you guys on that when I leave out of my doctor's office. So I'm actually at my surgeon's office right now, and they're about to check me out or whatever. I still got my hospital band on. I t I'm really going to update y'all on that. It was crazy. So I just got out the hospital, and now I'm at the doctor's. No sleep, but we'll talk about that later. So um, I'm down uh, 40, 42 pounds. I am now 262, down from 305. So I'm happy about that. They just weighed me. So, <laughs> I gotta tell you about the weight thingy too about last night, y'all. Y'all not gonna believe it. It's just me. It was so much in that hospital last night. But yeah, this is me at the doctor's office. Look at a mess. Looking like life has got to me. But I'll get back on when I leave. Bye. <music> But today was the day I came in and look, she got that motherfucking car in because I'm not playing this shit. She wanted to be nice, so I stayed my ass in the car and I just minded my business. <laughs> but today is the day. Look, show me you got the receipt. She said, that motherfucking receipt. I'm not the one to play with. Not the one or the I'm, two? I'm, no, don't put me in the category because I'm fucking crazy. Go ahead and talk to me. Yo, my wife is crazy. She's fucking crazy. Like, legit, she did help. Because I finally got my car back after a month, y'all. Finally got it back after a month long. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Today is what? July what? Um, 8th. Today is July 8th. My car has been here since 6-13. June 13th. And today is July 8th. So I'm super excited to be getting my car back. I just wanted to update you guys about that because I'm excited. And everything better be everything when I get my motherfucking car and drive out of here. So period. They said they just running it to make sure that it's good. So once that's done, I'm gonna be ready to get the hell up out of here, y'all. So <sighs> Yeah. Alright, I'll be back. Hey guys just to update y'all it's been a freaking trying time so the last time we talked to you guys yesterday we were so happy thought i had my car and we stay here for till 10 o'clock they closed at eight o'clock yesterday but we stayed here until 10 o'clock they told me they were gonna finish my car you're gonna have your car you're going home with your car today tell me why i ain't have my car y'all tell me why it shut off why now the problem was I needed a new battery. So now I had to buy a whole brand new battery right here. I had to buy a whole new battery, y'all. A whole brand spanking new battery. Do you understand me? You know how nerve wracking this is? Like a whole new battery. But after baby cussing them out for about a good 20 to 30 minutes. Hi. Let's get out. So, about baby cussing them out for about 20, 20 or 30 minutes, or whatever the case may be, they ended up, first of all, don't mind me, because I look like I was, you know what I'm saying? You look like we've been through some shit. But, the motherfuckers are going to tell us that ain't no cheaper battery, the battery almost damn near $200, she can't go more than 50%. 50 she, she can't go more she can't than 50%. Then when it's time to pay, she like, let me see what I could do. Let me see what I could do on this end. Let me see what I could do. And how much did that even? She only took $100 from me. So they was playing in our face. So don't ever come to Pet Boys and, and, and uh, Walcott. Walcott Street. Yeah. So that's one thing. And then, like, she just kept lying, like, and getting caught in her lies, and she's supposed to be a manager, and it's just like, that don't add up to what we was told. That ain't right. 
that include that right so she tried to be nice and be like oh i'll give you the zip ties and you want some water i got gatorade too try to make jokes and stuff bitch i'm about to smack you and have all these fucking tires rolling around if you keep playing with me <laughs> yo bae was in here cutting the fuck up so she maybe end up getting me a hundred dollar battery and they actually baby one of her her cover to the bottom of her car came off it popped on one side so now they're make they're fixing her bottom of her thing for free for her because baby cut the fuck up in here and usually i don't like when she cut up because when she cut up she cuts the fuck up but, but 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 this is why i said i was staying in the car every time i would bring my car here or come and check and see if they were done with my car i'd be like babe come in here with me she'd be like i'm not coming in there with you babe i'm not coming in there with you and i'd be like that's not right you're not supporting me like i would be so mad that she didn't come but baby when she came she came she went in there, she cussed the ass out, and she got the fucking job done. So finally, my car is done. Did they take you for a test ride? Oh, maybe, because I don't see my shit. Well, I think so. As long as it's test drivable and she can drive that shit off this fucking parking lot, that shit can stay here. And then they okay so first of all the battery being there they all talk about oh because you got a battery in the back of your trunk and this and that and that's supposed to support this and that whatever the fuck they were talking about so then we like so y'all don't check cars like y'all just let them sit here talking about oh it must have been dead because it just was sitting here so that means y'all was never working on my fucking car for it to be sitting here and to get dead exactly so they was just lying every time we called it was like oh he should be working on it today oh he gonna work on it today right oh he gonna work on it today oh he gotta do this he gotta do that oh he gotta do this he gotta do that now look at all these they got one two three let me show you all they got 11 bucks and you telling me it took a month for her car to get finished no they had me fucked up they had us fucked they up they had me fucked up and 11 decks, y'all got all these cars up here, but y'all can't finish one well without bringing the next one in. Y'all don't need to do that shit. And then they talk about, oh, everybody was on vacation and the 4th of July weekend and this, 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 all these fucking excuses. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit because this car was here way before the 4th of July, okay? Right. My car been here since June 13th, y'all. June 13th. And today is July 9th. Shit is crazy. Shit is, shit is crazy. So, yeah. That's um, something that we going to get back to y'all because I just had to tell y'all, don't ever come to Pet Boys on um, Walcott Street. And the only reason why her car was here is because the insurance she got. And that's why they brought it here. But don't ever bring your shit here. And this dude, he was about to come talk to them or whatever. I was like, uh-uh. Don't, don't, yeah, don't fuck we, with them. Yeah, we turned them. away some people. They, we was like, no, nah, don't fuck with them. He was like, for real, don't fuck with them. They, I, he was don't like, fuck with pet he boys. Like, he turned right, he the turned fuck right around. around and he Don't left. fuck with pet boys because pet boys is good for nothing but tires and parts. If you need to get your shit something fixed on your car, don't do it. You better be what you better be ready to wait that month and a half because other than that, facts. Other than that, don't fuck with pet boys. But I'm happy to have my car back. Like it's been a trying time, y'all. We've been sharing one car and it's not cool. It wasn't cool. It was ghetto. We and made it work. But y'all know, one car where well, you gotta go 15 different places, that should be aggravating. So, that's just on that. Right. And now, let the show them fix my car. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, we will have me waiting. Yeah. You guys don't know how happy I am. I finally got my baby back. I finally got my baby back. She dirty as hell, y'all. When I mean she dirty as hell, cause she been sitting here so long. But look how dirty she is. I'm about to go bring her through a quick car wash. But I'm so happy to have my baby back, yo. Y'all don't understand. Look at my baby. She dirty as fuck. But I got her back. My baby. Oh, I'm back on the road. Y'all don't understand. I cried. For many, many nights. Many, many, it look like they've been G-riding in my shit. I'm more close on the steering wheel with shit. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm happy. Hold on. Y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm so happy to have my car. Y'all, I'm so happy. I got my car back and it's hot as fuck in here. Where's my gas at? Uh, I'm one bar before E. So now I need a motherfucking gas. I need gas. I need motherfucking 
everything, y'all. It need clean cleaning. It's all. Ugh. They got me down or low. Seat or up. Like, why did y'all adjust my shit this bad? Let me go back. So I'm, I'm so happy. Let me go drive my shit a little bit just so I can see. Oh, it's dirty, y'all. <laughs> my wife looking at me like, bitch, why is you Jesus so hard? I miss my baby. I want to drive it to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to have did. She driving smooth whatever i want to make sure it's when i turn it back on when i turn it back off that it's working so i'm i'm sure i am in this parking lot driving around and then i'm going to turn it off to make sure that it works and i want to see how smooth she drive before i pull off and that's just on period all right now let me shut her off and let me shut her back on Oh, baby. My car is disgusting, y'all. So I have to find the nearest car wash. I cannot ride around like this. It's been sitting at all type of bugs. The windows look like nasty. It's all bad. But y'all seen it here first. I got my car back. And I'm going to get this bad boy cleaned. I'll take y'all along on the car wash, too. Hey. Guys, I had to get my baby girl a fresh wash. They is getting into it, y'all. I'm so excited to have my car back now. She about to be clean, honey. Yes. Period. shut down again I am so aggravated I'm so aggravated after a month of not having my car I drive for all the 20 minutes get a car wash get some gas in it get excited spend money that I don't have for me to be back on the side of the fucking road I need to figure out if there's some way that I can sue these people they put my life in danger they put my life in danger and told me that this car was fine. You could drive it. It's cool. It got a check engine light, but we're waiting for um, the place to approve us to fix that part. But it's drivable and you're good. Only for me to be driving down the street and my car say on it, oh, it's reducing speed. So as I'm pressing the gas pedal, my car is just reducing speed, reducing speed. And I'm on the road. And I'm glad I wasn't on the highway when this happened. I'm on the road, there's cars behind me, and my car is just going down, going down, going down. So I had just pulling over, I just pulled over wherever I was at, and I get stuck in like a driveway type of thing. I was trying to speed into the driveways before it stopped, but it got to one so fast, I just was halfway into the driveway, and my car was halfway in the street. So I called the place Pet Boys to tell them, and I'm just yelling at the lady, telling her this is so fucking unacceptable. Y'all put my life in danger. Like, all she had to say was, oh, we're going to send a tow truck to see what's going on. Oh, my God. It was no, I'm sorry that happened. No, nothing. Like, she just like, okay, we're going to send a tow truck. Like, she had no compassion for the shit that happened. 
Like you weren't in the car scared that cars is gonna rear in you because your car is reducing speed in the middle of traffic. I'm just so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I'm so mad, I can't even cry. <laughs> like, this shit is crazy, yo. It's so crazy. I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is the same day and I got my car, guys. They called me, they said it was some rewiring that they had to do. And sorry if I'm shaky, y'all, I'm in my car and then drive him. But they said it was some rewiring that they had to do. They ended up doing the rewiring and now I have my car back. Fingers is very much, very much crossed that I don't deal with what I dealt with earlier and my car ends up shutting down on me. I'm super, super, super scared to drive it on the highway because now I'm traumatized, y'all. I'm really traumatized a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully well i'm praying and i'm manifesting that my car is back for good it's amazing it's fixed and i'm just good oh i'm going to wear a bump hold on oh god these streets right here baby <laughs> but i'm just manifesting and i'm praying and i'm glad and i'm grateful that i do have my car back and everything is working out in my favor um i'm able to now move how I want to move and do what I have to do for me work a little bit more I wasn't able to work that long because I had to rely on a ride you know to get to and from you know my workspace so it was hard for me to be able to just like do my own thing and move how I want to move but now this right here with me having my car back today on July 9th finally makes it way better so all right, guys, I'm driving right now, so I'll get back on when I get to the house, or I'll probably end it here because this vlog is probably a little bit long, and then I'll start off a new vlog um, probably Sunday or probably Monday when I head off to work. And, yeah, I'll probably start a new vlog on Monday, so it could be like a weekly vlog, and then after that, I'll probably drop another one on Friday. So today is Saturday. I'll drop another vlog on Friday. Yeah, I'm trying to, I really want to start dropping vlogs every, like maybe three times a week. So maybe that Monday vlog or that Sunday vlog, I'll drop the same day. Because Sunday tomorrow, I don't really, I'm not going to really do much. Me and my me and, um, my wife is going to make videos for our couples channel. So if you haven't followed us on our couple channel, what are you doing? Join the TNT gang over there, okay? So I'll have that link down in the description box so y'all could just go over to my couples channel or check my community tabs. I always post, um uploads over there on my community post to let you guys know that i did upload if i don't sound happy i am y'all i'm just really tired today's been a long day we just came from the birthday party with my at my um fiance's niece and nephew her twin niece and nephew we just came from their fifth birthday party and i'm just a little bit tired and i'm a little bit hungry so i'm about to end this vlog here make sure you guys please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps me grow and please please like this video stop like this video soon you close out of the video because baby this right here liking the video will definitely push my um video so more people can see it and it really really helps my channel grow so thank you if you got to the end of this video type lady t gang down in the description box and to become a part of lady t gang all you got to do is smash the subscribe button bye y'all